Hey guys, welcome to That Florida Feeling. I hope everybody's had a great week. I know it's still humid. If you didn't hear that from one of my last episodes, it's effing humid. Again, still one of my favorite words, especially for the summer. It's just roasting. But I guess that's summer anywhere really in the South or really seems like anywhere. A lot's been going on. I hope you guys are doing okay. I know that some days it just seems tough, but remember, I am thankful for each and every one of you. This podcast would not be here without each and every one of you. Um, I know I say that a lot, but I truly do mean it. Uh, thank you. Thank you for following me on every social media. I do have a, a TikTok subscription now. I'm trying this. I'm learning this. Um, yeah, I don't know, but we're doing it. We're doing it. Sub, same for YouTube still. Still on those YouTube shorts, but we're doing it again. Um, still on the Facebook pages and groups. Uh, post those memes. I love seeing them. I do. Thank you so much, guys. Um, I really appreciate all of you guys for just following and subscribing and liking. And if you have a second, I really would appreciate a review, especially on Apple. Um, it just kind of helps to get it out there for other people to see the podcast. Um, but thank you so much, guys, for supporting this podcast. Um, any shares really do also help. I, I really appreciate it. Um, if you've not checked out Unfiltered Studios yet, go over there, check them out. They're on um, Facebook. X, Twitter, whatever we're calling it now. I'm still going to call it Twitter. It's, it's always going to be Twitter. I missed the little bird. Um, but there's an amazing group of people. I say this every time and I mean it. Such a great group of people. There is some really cool podcast. Uh, Stupid History Minute is great. It's a really short podcast. It's literally about a minute. Um, great for Jeopardy if you're ever going to be on there for <laughs> useless facts. But really cool things that you would never have thought to learn. Um, movie... Lovers Unite is really cool. They do some great movie reviews. Um, let's see. Gomez. Gomez is doing some great things on Sleepy G. In fact, that is actually my guest tonight. Um, and I had actually never really talked to Gomez until today. And I'm going to tell you, he is quickly becoming one of my favorite people. Um, he is doing things. And he is doing things well. Um you know, I hope everybody in life wins, but this guy's going to win and he's going to win really well. I had such a great conversation with this guy and I'm so excited for you to hear it. He, uh, you know, he's doing it. He, he knows what he wants in life and he's going after it and he's got great ambitions. And I think you guys are really going to enjoy this chat I had with him. He has such a great podcast and he really talks about everything, everything in life, everything in life you could conquer, everything in life you're going to deal with. And he's so real about it. He's probably one of the realest people I've ever met. And I love that, you know, no holds barred, pulls no punches. Um, you know, and he's fun. He's just, he makes you feel better to be around. He's got good energy. And so it was really, really fun to get to talk to him. And so I hope you guys get to enjoy the chat that I had with him. And we do talk about Florida. We do talk a little bit about, you know, uh, vacationing in Florida back in the days and, uh, what Florida used to be. And of course, some really good food. And so I really do got hope that you guys enjoy, uh, the chat that I got to have with him. Um, of course you can also find him on TikTok and Facebook and threads and Twitter. I'm going to call it Twitter. It's X, whatever. And, uh, but go check him out. He's also got a really new, uh, fun thing. He's on an internet radio. Um, I mean, he's doing it guys. You're going to really enjoy hearing from him. So enjoy this episode. Hey guys, today I am with Sleevy G. I'm going to call him Sleevy G because that's what I know him as. He'll tell you his real name in a second. Um, and he has been so nice to agree to come on to That Florida Feeling tonight um, and to chat with us. So Sleevy, go ahead and introduce yourself. Hey, my name is Gomez from the Sleevy G Show. Uh, up from New Jersey. Uh, used to be in Florida a lot when I was a younger kid, actually, or uh, before I turned 24, I used to go to Florida a lot, so I have a lot of fond memories down there. Um, but, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, I really appreciate you having me on tonight. Uh, I got my Florida Marlin cap wearing, representing for you tonight. I see that. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, I, uh, I, uh, try to appease everybody wherever show I go on to, or represent <laughs> my show, because I like to, I am a, I'm a baseball cap kind of sort kind of right now. Gotcha. I bought I bought a couple of Phillies, LA, San Diego, uh, Chicago Sox, Cubbies, Toronto Blue Jays, Pittsburgh Penguins, oh, my Yankees. You do I'm have like them all. The, okay. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. You can see them right here. Oh, I do see them. Oh, yeah. I love it. I love it. I mean, 
I, I can say my team is up there, so I'm okay. And I got and I got Caddyshack hat too from the movie. So. Did you? <laughs> yes, yes, yes. So you know, it's uh, it's one of those that. things that I love to collect. I love to collect hats now. All of a sudden, I went into a collection of hats, and my wife uh, goes, "What the heck? More hats?" So <laughs> I mean, it could be worse. It could be like thousand dollar Lego sets or cars or something. I mean, I, I yeah, see that's it. already. That's already been done. Yeah, I know. We you cycle through things, so at least this time it's not as expensive. I understand. <laughs> Actually, no, I'm working on a Lego Back to the Future part right now. Oh, I got very for Christmas. cool. <laughs> I so wanted... I built I built a bunch of Lego vehicles already. Oh, I mean, um, I'm not gonna lie. I see the Batman behind you over your shoulder, and I'm I'm kind of eyeing ba- it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I did the Batwing. I did the '89 Batwing. Yeah, the I original see it. Batman and I'm like, that looks kind of cool. I've done the 89 Batman Batmobile. Oh, cool. I have, I have the Christian Bale Tumblr. Yes. I have the Aston Martin that 007 uses, James Bond. Wow. Uh, Mustang Shelby, uh, 69 Shelby Mustang. Nice. I have the, the uh, Ferrari F40 built. I have Voltron. I have Empire State Building. I have the Statue of Liberty built. I have all different types of helmets made. It's just my stress releaser. No, I think, I think they're, I mean, I remember having Legos as a kid and this is going to date me, but that was when you just had the little green square and all yep. the little blocks and you just, you built, you know, whatever, because they didn't really have the sets out yet. You know, you just, you built them no, and that's, that's my, that tells you kind of how old I am. Um, but I remember well, that. So, <laughs> yeah, see, so, I mean, that tells our age, but, but I did see that they just came out with one that's a cat, like a, yes. so I'm going to have to get that one. I am, I am going to have to get that one. But no, I mean, I get it. I mean, whatever you got to do to get through life at this point, mm-hmm. just do it. <laughs> you I know? mean, I actually, like I tell people, I actually do seek therapy too because uh, of my anxiety um, ever since COVID. You know what I mean? Yeah. I've been very edgy, very, ex- you know, I also have health, not, I want to say health problems, but I, I live with type 2 diabetes, oh, okay. high blood pressure. So I really need to concentrate on things that would make my, Blood go down, nothing yeah, high. Yeah. I do adult. I actually do adult coloring books too on the side. Okay. Um, you know, and then I do my show, uh, yeah. which is another stress reliever too. Um, All right. So you know, I do I do a lot of things. Try to keep busy with the family too. You know, uh, got the wife and the two kids, and you know they keep me busy enough. Um, you know, I just sometimes can't get enough time to rest. <laughs> oh, I fully, I fully understand that. We were just talking about that before I hit record. Um, so did you actually start the podcast as a stress reliever or what made you want to start uh, the Sleepy so, G show? Oh, so it started about four years ago, actually. Um, okay. I, uh, I tore my MCL. Oof. Uh, before I tore my MCL, I was, I was, uh, talking to my, one of my oldest friends, Brian Colburn, who, who me and I design well he designed the name but my concept idea of a show together was kind of my idea so i we ran as co-hosts of playlist wars mm. so i wanted to do a little bit of everything but brian is a music buff and i was a more of a video game movie uh tv buff so okay. it took me about four episodes to realize what my niche was <laughs> and uh, we were talking about beastie boys oh cool <clears throat> and uh, one of the songs i said yeah well, that's I, you know the, I picked the song No Sleep to Brooklyn and yeah. um, start start talking about the, that and then I go but who remembers the movie Out for Justice with Steven Seagal yes, and then yes. everyone went crazy like batshit crazy like oh damn it that's it right there after the show we were talking about it, like that's your niche the movies yeah connect them so after uh, we were doing it for two years, uh, Brian and I, unfortunately, we have, he has older kids. I have younger kids. Uh, okay. So our scheduling became different. And, um, you know, it, it, we put Playlist Wars on a hiatus. It was supposed to be only for a couple of months. But then I think it became more of a permanent thing when I decided to say, hey, I'm thinking about doing my own little thing, you know, blogging. Uh, I didn't even think about podcasting yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. On my own. And, um you know, I, I went on Twitter, I went on Instagram, I, I, uh, I posted up with a couple of names I threw around. Um, some people uh, loved, uh, you know, there was the Sleeveless G, <laughs> Sleevey G, the G Files, nice. the Gomez Show. It was just trying to figure out what would work. Yeah. And Sle- Sleevey G really ended up being the name because everyone loved the name. Okay. Um, 
you know, I got to give out to shout out to DT from Space Castle because he designed my logo. Okay, cool. So, so he's the one who designed my logo, and uh, and then I took off. Uh, Brian was my first guest, of course, because why not? Yeah, we had a history together, and um, you know, and then I had uh, you know local business local businesses I do. Um, I had a few, or I already have a few New Jersey celebrity guests that came on already. Very cool. Um, you know, what else have I, I've done? Uh, uh, we did a show about autism, type 1 diabetes. Oh, very cool. Okay. Cere- cerebral palsy. Yeah. Uh, raising awareness of drug addiction. Uh, That's a big one. That's, yeah. Yeah. And uh, just recently released uh, uh, with Carrie Campbell uh, with her, her self-help program, uh, her, ad- her identity. Yeah. Is her program name. Um, she was an awesome guest. Uh, I, I pretty much this, uh, the month of June was kick up your heels entertainment month because yeah. uh, the, the, the lovely ladies of Toronto have blessed <laughs> me with so many guests from there, from them. And, uh, you know, so I called it kick up your heels month of June. Yeah. No. So everyone, everyone's been from that area. You know what I mean? So I've, I've been very blessed now. It's been a year and a half for the sleepy G show. Okay. Um, I'm up to almost 80 some odd episodes. I'm getting close to that triple mark already. Ooh, okay, you got to do something special for that. I, I'm still trying to figure out what I'm going to do yet. Um, right? You're gonna and you're gonna think about it, and it's gonna come up to it, and you're gonna be like, I don't know what to do. Yeah. No, I have some ideas. I'm okay. just trying to see if it pans out. Right. Um, yeah. So, I pretty much uh, been working all ends of the moon i like at work if i could sneak for a couple of minutes to do emails at work I'm, in, I'm doing it right yeah um i i i mean the sleepy g show i'm surprised how quickly it take, took off but also i was lucky enough to get connected with our our network uh unfiltered studios yeah uh, network um you know mama d is the one who asked me to meet with keb oh cool and keb came on my show and I asked Kev about joining, and I think my vote was unanimously voted in pretty quickly, <laughs> nice. um, which which was awesome. So, you know, that was last year, uh, end of September, beginning of October. Really good. Okay, me. awesome. See, I didn't. So, I didn't join right away. Like Kev actually hounded me for like, I don't know. He asked me last year, but like, I don't know why I put it off. And then I finally was like, Yeah, all right, I'll do it. But it's going to, like, we were moving, and then, like, I finally joined, and I'm like, I'm an idiot for waiting so long. <laughs> like, no, not, I mean, again, it, it all depends. Like, I've gotten lucky Yeah. with them. I mean, uh, I'm close to 1,000 downloads. That's I'm awesome. Close to I'm close to 100 subscribers on YouTube. Yeah. Um, you know, people ask me, why don't I do this for money? Why don't I have a Patreon account? It's not about the money right now. Yeah. It's about putting out a good show and people who who need the show. I mean, I get that. I was, I'm surprised, you know what I mean? I was surprised I became a, you know, instant hit, um, you know, good pods. I'm, I'm in the top two always. You're now. always in the top. What are you talking about? Like always, man. And, you know, I've been busting my ass. But you, you know, know, yeah, it shows. I, you know, Brian, you know, Brian, my partner said, you know, keep, now keep in mind, you're on your own. You don't realize how much you have to do. Like, when I first started, I had no PR people. No, no yeah, it's at all. It's you. Like I'm a solo podcaster myself, and I've been doing it. I just hit three years, and yeah. it's you know I didn't have I did un, I didn't join Unfiltered till almost year three. So for right. two and a half years, you know, every social media, every YouTube, every Twitter, every Facebook page, group, everything, every written, every person finding them, that was on me. So yeah. people don't realize like that's hard. Like it's it is. It is hard, but the one thing is I don't do questions like normal people do. Yeah. I just I shoot from the hip. I really I do my research, you know, people send me the their information yeah. and then I just jot down a couple of notes and if someone goes, Hey, mention this and mention that, then I ask those questions. Yeah. But in reality, I'm just improv. I, I love what I do. The guests are having fun. Every show I end, you know, when I end the night with them, they're like, oh, my God, this show was so much fun. Right. It's like, I don't know. I go, thank you. You know, it's just that's what it's about. It's about having the good times, laughing our asses off. I mean, I've been very blessed. Like I said, Um, I've gotten in touch with a few PRs now out in California. Awesome. Toronto, Texas, the Midwest, New York right now. I'm kind of. Okay. 
You're I'm pushing emailing it. people because I I I, I want to. My goal is to be Joe Rogan. Okay, That's do it. Yeah. Like, you know, what I mean? as someone wrote on Facebook, I was on this uh, promotions company, and someone said, "Well." you know, what is your plan? I go, my plan is to be better than Joe Rogan. And it's like, that's a really tall order. I go, the small guy can always do it. I said, yeah. and he goes, you're never going to make it. I said, listen, I'm not going to say I'm not, but I'm not, I'm not going to, you know, I'm 44 years old. I'm turning 45 this year. No yeah. one's going to shoot down my dream. It, you know, even my coworkers are going, Jesus Christ, you are making it. Yeah. He goes, I, he, they think I'm going to make it to live TV. I said, listen, if I get that far, I'm not forgetting where I came from. Right, yeah. But you've got to try. Like, don't ever... It is never too late to keep trying. It's it's no, the only time it's too late is when you stop. When you give up, yeah. You've that's when you... That's it. Like, you did it to I'm yourself. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to lie. When I told you last year, around August, I almost gave up. Yeah. Um, I mean, it, it gets hard. It does get hard. It does. Trust me. It does. But you know what? You know, as Rocky Balboa said, it's how hard you get knocked down. It's, how you get up. Yeah. You know, and, um, I'm a big believer on that. I've been, I've been kicked. My ass has been kicked a couple of times. Yeah. I've, I've taken some beatings from some people through emails. Yeah. Um, who disliked my show and. Oh, people are not it, nice. People, people can be mean and people can be mean. very mean behind a keyboard. And I don't. Yeah. And you know, and, and that's one thing I don't, I don't blast people. No, I'll just, I'll say what I have to say on, you know, my, my videos on Instagram, Twitter, yeah. every, you know, X, whatever. Yeah. But I will never put that person's name out because there's a reason. No, yeah, it's that's that that says more about you by not blasting them. Yeah. Than I, you can listen, ever imagine. I, me personally, you can attack me. Tell me I suck. That's fine. That's more fuel to me. That makes me work harder and try to work with all my connections now. Yeah. Now I'm like, just going to show you you're wrong. And that's what I'm, and that's what I've been trying to prove people. Like, yeah, people are, people do get jealous, and I'm sorry that they get jealous. That, you know, I, I don't, I record the show. I don't do edits. Why don't I do edits? Because I want people to see who I really am. Yeah. I, if, I, if I mess up, I want people to see that I mess up because yeah, there's there's points I said, oh shit, I messed up, but I'm a man to admit to it, and yeah. some people are not. And you know what's funny? I don't edit my show either. And the reason I don't edit my show is because. I actually suffer from an autoimmune disease, and part okay. of part of that causes my speech to have problems. And I will, you'll hear me have like a problem saying a word, or I'll get messed up. And I've had people come at me through that, and I'm like, you know what? Look, this gives me the point where I can now educate you on this disease. Yeah. So go ahead, come at me. I'm not hey. going to edit it. I'm not. If you actually want to come on my show and talk about it, I would love to have you for that sure. one. Sure. Yeah. Tell me when. You've got you've got my email now, so we can definitely yeah, do that. You, I would love that. We'll, we'll, yeah, we're going to set something up. It might be in August, but we'll set it up for September. Yeah, no, that's fine. But yeah, no. And that's – but you're right. It, it Everything that somebody does opens a door for something else. And that's – you know, and that's actually why I started the podcast was because I was unemployed during COVID. And I was like, you know what? I need a passion project. I need to do something <laughs> – and my husband was like, do a podcast. And I'm like, I'm not doing a podcast. And then three years later, here we are doing podcasts. You know, you understand that. Well, oh, yeah. My wife is the one who told me to pursue it. Yeah. Pursue my career. My, well, I wouldn't call it my career, but uh, it's going to be, it's gonna be our career. Come on now. Uh, you know what? Listen, if I make it. Yeah. And, and it can just say, I, I would definitely, I'm not forgetting you guys because I'll bring you guys with me. <laughs> you know what I mean? No joke. Yeah. If I said, if I made it, I'm like, listen, I got, I got 20 other souls with me. Yeah, no, I'm the same way. And Un- Unfiltered will me. always be going with me now. Yeah. Yeah, you take me, you're taking my family with me. You just, I'm not forgetting them. Yeah, absolutely. No, and that's that. one thing I love about what we do. And that's what I'm all about. I'm about fun. Listen, I'm about sports, movies, raising awareness of anything, you know, all the, it doesn't matter if you have an autoimmune disease or you're you are bisexual or something. You know, I don't care. Let's talk because people need to know. Yeah, and that's that's the other cool thing about podcasting is you'll find someone that wants to hear you. And that's that's I was really leery about starting one about Florida, even though I mm-hmm. live here, because I'm like, is anybody really going to listen to this? People oh, actually, God. yeah, right. I was surprised. Um, people, I love Florida. 
Well, I mean, we're okay. Tell me, tell me what you love about Florida. Then there's your opening. Go ahead. What do you love about? Uh, you said you used to come here a lot. So Florida. I, mean, I, I yeah. When I was uh, growing up, I used to spend most of my summers in Florida a lot. <laughs> Key West, Miami, yeah, uh, uh, Tampa Bay, which I was never a fan of. My parents were, but not me. What? Well, okay. Uh, why? Uh, wait, Orlando. Why do you like Tampa? I get. <laughs> I guess because when I was younger, I was in my teens. Okay. I was 15, 16, 17 years old going to Tampa Bay. And for me, I felt like it was like that old folks community. I mean, you're not I just partially wrong on that one. I'm going to give you that one. But we're talking in the 90s, you know what I mean? Not now. No, yeah. But in the 90s, I mean, in the 90s, I was just like, God, this is boring to me. Can we go to Disney finally, please? Actually, you know what's, you know what's like, really funny? Like, Tampa's... To me, after living, because I've lived most of Florida, mm -hmm. Tampa still feels like an old retirement community. <laughs> I, I, to me, that's what it is. I mean, you guys it, got the Tampa Bay Lightning, a great hockey team. I'm sorry. Um, I mean, I'm right now. I'm 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 a Pan I'm a Panthers fan. I'm sorry. Sorry. I know. That's okay. I'm a, I'm Even though a we're, we're fan. tripping at the finish line massively. Hey, trust Every, me. I, look at me. I'm a New York Ranger fan. I mean, I, I yeah, hey. Me. Sorry. Sorry. That's um, a, it's okay. It's all right. Listen, I, my, my hockey was over. I'm a big Rangers fan. I'm not going to lie. Um, um, yeah. I, 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 I'm also a Nick fan. Yeah, I, I also have jerseys of Giants. <laughs> I got Rangers jerseys, Giants jerseys. Nice. My, my, my Sleevy G jersey for my show. But, uh, um, yeah, no. Um, we are now on game seven, and we should have won at game five, but I'm not going to talk about that yet. Um, you should have won on game four, too. I was being nice. I was being nice. <laughs> I know. Um, uh, uh. <laughs> being nice. But anyways, um, yeah, no, Tampa still, Tampa is like, because it's surrounded by, like, retirement communities. You're not wrong. So you nah. you were right to feel like that no matter what age you were. <laughs> I mean, I went to I, I went to Boca Raton, which is another beautiful retirement community, but I actually had fun at Boca Raton. Right. Um, yeah. I actually, there's a lot of fun there. Uh, St. Petersburg for me is just the history of the of the area. Yeah. Uh, with, um, but me, one of my favorite old time spots besides Key West is Miami. Uh, what do you like Havana. about Miami the best? I, because I'm Cuban, okay. so the La Fair. the Latin flavors are there for me. So anytime I go to anytime I went to Miami, it's like definitely going to A One A. Okay. Beach front Avenue. Definitely ha have to hang out there at night. Fair. Get you stay cool, out till five a.m. You know, at the at the clubs. Oh, I used to do that when I was a teenager. I mean, I mean I've, I've done it. In, I've done it. <laughs> I, I, I went in 18, 19 years old looking like this at 19. I look like this except <laughs> so you darker got, hair. You got in no matter what. Um. <laughs> yeah, well, I, yeah, I was a six foot two yeah. Cuban. You know, yeah, so uh, you were getting in no matter what. Yep, you were fine. Yeah, I got in no matter what. But I, I, the, the, the flavors of Latin there in Miami was just always for me. I... My, when I was in college, I really wanted to go down there and play for uh, University of Miami for football. Okay. But I was not that good. Um, but uh -huh. I still wanted to go to University of Miami just because I love, you know, Miami down there for so many years. Yeah. Um, you, you know, one of my favorite all-time spots, of course, is Disney Orlando. Okay. Uh, you know, you know, you go there. Um, don't don't actually listen went there to one. Mama D's uh, episode with me probably in August because I, I kill the Disney spirit. But go ahead. No, it's okay. I mean, I went to Disney for other reasons. Okay, um, fair. <laughs> the year I, I, the last time I went, I was twenty. I just turned twenty-two. Okay. Uh, my dad died six months prior. I'm sorry. Of, uh, the year before. No, it's all right. I mean, it, unfortunately, it was just uh, you know couldn't beat the cancer. Yeah. It was okay. already stage four. It's difficult. Um, so a bunch of my friends, uh, who live up here in Jersey, say, "Hey, we're heading down the wedding down near Disney." you know the like a friday night yeah why don't you fly down saturday afternoon we'll pick you up from orlando and we'll do disney for the week i'm like disney for the week we go to universal i'm like yo uh, yeah, so you know what? orlando yeah i was so depressed for six months and my mom goes here's the money go on this trip yeah like you need, you need to do something yeah yeah so i took uh i took two weeks off from work and whew, did i start my disney trip right i we went right to Epcot and we drank around the world. That is what was I feel. Yeah, that's a fun experience if you know how to do it right. If you actually make it around the world. Uh, we started in the Canadian section with the uh, Moosehead beers. Okay, so at least you started right because most people want to start in Mexico and don't even make it halfway. It's like, boy, you started nah. wrong. 
I, I had two beers. I, I, every spot I did, I drank at least two drinks. Nice. Okay. I went all the way right back to Canadian, and I'm like, we're done. Oh, hell yeah. It was about 2.30 in the afternoon. I was feeling the drunkenness, and we decided to go back <laughs> to the hotel and really sleep it off for the evening. Nice. Um, which means we woke up the next morning. Right. Almost. No, yeah, Hungover. that was that was Andy Day. So I think the next time we went to Disney, we, we you know, we did all those spots, go through – it's a small world after all. Of course, that was torture. Every time uh, I go on that, I get stuck. So I refuse okay. now? Yeah. No, I, I understand that. Um, I did all the stuff at Epcot. I did everything in Disney. Did the MGM. Mm-hmm. Uh, and one of my favorite nights was, I think it was like a Thursday night we were there. It was go to uh, Pleasure Island. Oh, okay. Adults. Yeah. So at that time, I don't know if they still do it, but I remember the last time I was there, they had the dueling pianos. Okay. Um, so there was a bar right there, and they had dueling pianos at this night, and they had seven dollar killer Kool Aids, thirty two ounce glasses. So they have a bar now called Jelly Rolls. Um, it's in the Boardwalk um, okay. Resort, and <laughs> I know this because cast members used to get in free on Sundays. <laughs> so we used to go, and it was cheap drinks for us with our ID. Um, not that I did this a lot <clears throat> or anything. And, um, <laughs> they would have dueling piano bars and Sunday nights were usually just cast members because it was a really dead night at the resorts. And it might have been jelly rolls. That might have been it. Sounds right, doesn't it? Yeah. yeah it, it's it, a it really dark exactly right. so thing and it's got a I stage this, and yeah, you get a big yeah. drinks and yeah, mm-hmm, this is right. Mm-hmm. I, remember, I remember the 32 ounce killer Kool-Aids for $7. Yeah, that sounds right. <laughs> um, I had a whole bunch that one night. Yeah. My friends and I, we were calculating on how much I drank. Oh, boy. Yeah, yeah. It was close to two and a half gallons. So, um... How was I standing up, smoking a cigarette, and walking straight? Don't ask me. Yeah, that's what I was going to ask you, more or less, how you have a liver. But, yeah, that counts about the same. Yeah. Yeah, I but mean, I, my liver's still functional. Surprisingly, every, I'm 44 years old now. Everybody, um, ha- I mean, everybody has those nights, I think, after, because my dad died. So my dad died, and then I went to work at Disney World. Oh, wow. Yeah, hence, oh. I, that was that was so even worse of an experience. And um, that's why I went to Jelly Rolls a lot. <laughs> yeah, I, I, trust you, I needed the Jelly Rolls when I was there. Yeah. I, when it was like a, it was, it was just a remembrance of my dad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, so, um, I understand. you know. And my dad loved Florida, too, just as much as I did, because I remember my very first Disney experience was with my father. Yeah. Um, mine was, mine never, was, too. And I never I never went back. Yeah. After that, because it was the one-time experience. I've gone to Florida numerous times for other reasons. I mean, my mom took me when I was 14 with my grandfather. Yeah. And my dad was still working, but it just was never the same for me without my dad. Yeah. Um. So... You know, just these little things, you know, I love Florida a lot, and uh, I'm, I'm looking forward to taking my kids Yeah. next, uh, hopefully next year. Um, Good. We're going to take the kids down uh, to the Princess Castle for my daughter. Of course. Do the Pirates of Caribbean for my son. And, yeah. And, you know, we'll hit MGM. We'll definitely hit Universal Studios. No, all that'll that all be, and that'll be fun memories for them, so that's really great. Yeah. Um, well, Sleepy... I don't do, you know, I don't do long uh, episodes because I've learned that my no, listeners no. don't love those. Um, <laughs> but will you come back on my show soon? Oh, of course. Anytime, I would love please. to come, have you come back on. I would love to have you talk more about Florida. Um, oh, please. I'd be happy to come back on yeah, anytime you need No, me. I would love that. Uh, we'll talk more about Florida and reminisce. I feel like you and I had a lot of the same growing up and a lot of the same yep. Florida kind of stories. Um, exactly. <laughs> no, thank and thank you so much for coming on tonight. It's fun to finally uh, get to meet you and to finally get to talk to you. And I'm glad that me and you have the same kind of outlook on, you know, everybody deserves to get better in life. So I'm really yep. glad to have had the time to talk to you tonight. So I appreciate I, that. I appreciate you having me on tonight. I really appreciate. It. Thank you. Uh, yeah. Thank you to everybody down in Florida too. I, I can't wait to make my my return soon to Florida. Hopefully next year. Yes. No. Well, I mean, you're returning to Florida right now uh, in this podcast. Think of it that way. Yes. Um, yes. Yes, I am. And I will. Uh, I will make sure that everybody knows who you are when this uh, goes out. This will probably go out in the next, uh, probably next two weeks. But I'll definitely link you to it. Um, awesome. Awesome. Thank you again so much for your time, sweetie. All right. Thank you, and you guys have a great night. All right. All right. You too. Bye, sweetie.
Take care. All right, guys, I really hope you enjoyed my chat and you had as much fun uh, getting to hear about his, just what all he's doing as I got to enjoy just chatting with him. Um, don't forget to check him out. Check out all the Unfiltered Studios uh, podcast. I mean, everybody's as awesome as he is. I just, I love energy like that. And so people like that are people I definitely root for. Um, like I said, I root for everybody. I know that we're all dealing with stuff. Um, just know that I'm thankful for each and every one of you. I hope that everybody wins in life. Uh, I really do. Even if it's the days that we just get up and we survive the day. Uh, I am thankful for that. And I'm thankful for all the support on this podcast. I do hope that everybody has a great week. Um, don't forget to check out all the Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, X, threads, whatever we're calling everything now. Um, drink your water. Stay nice. Be nice. Stay nice and be nice, guys. Um, put on your sunscreen. Just have a great week, guys. That's your daily dose of sunshine. This podcast is a production of Unfiltered Studios. If you would like to know more about joining Unfiltered Studios, please visit our website at unfpod.com for more information.